the game audio never recorded, so I placed the music and sounds in myself. So, sorry if it sounds off at points. And not because the game is just off itself. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, everybody. I am scared. I have goosebumps all over my body, and I just wanna. I just. I just wanna. I just want it to end. I want this nightmare to end. I think we're close to the end, but I just want it to be over. Let's just. Let's continue. Yuri. Somehow I impressed her. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've been. What you've written for today. Oh, gotta start the timer. Mrs. Doubtfire smile uh, uh, takes a deep breath. I just, I like just holding it. Ah, I mean, the poem turned out good. Ah, it's a, uh, there's some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything you, written by you is a treasure. Ah, it came out, that came out a little awkward, but let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Okay. This is not the same, and there's no music. <sighs> and I, I can't even read... Uh, I'm gonna, I'll try my best to read this. I can't really read script. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning on... Turning an axle, grinding... Bolted, linear gearbox, fall, falling sky... Seven holy stakes... A docked ship, a portal to another world... A thin rope tied to a thick rope... A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Uh, existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time... Uh, in time... Uh, in time devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of expanding stars. God disapproving the existence of God. A wheel note rotating on its six, on six, in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. <coughs> <coughs> a clock that ticks for one second for every rotation in the, on, of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time, if it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the second to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears. And open humor, eye, human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bottle, bolt head, breathing ship. Breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, bre a breathing wheel. I feel like I just wasted part of my life. I'm never going to get back reading that. And something bad is going to happen when I when I click off the poem. I, I just know it. I'm not going to get freaked out. I'm not going to get freaked out. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, uh, that, that is, a, a pen fell out of your back pocket yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So, I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, ha, 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 I, and I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Can you, you can keep the poem, though. This game is an expert at creeping you the fuck out. I expected full well, I expected full well something bad to happen there. Nothing happened. Script was different. Messed up poem. But I still felt the goosebumps on my body. Who made this game? I, I don't remember who made this game, but... They definitely have a talent for... For really getting you on edge. <laughs> So what are we going to do with Natsuki? Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty, pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, 
If this one was pretty good after your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with, your, with Mrs. Doubtfire today. I thought I really care who you spend time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So, it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You probably, you probably, you, you'll probably be able to learn something from it. Uh huh. Now, is there like a secret message in this? <clears throat> well, the uh, the SSB, the SSB could be Super Smash Brothers. Oh, that's just reaching for straws. There's no, there doesn't appear to be anything like. Off, off, of a, off of a cursory glance, there doesn't appear to be like a... There doesn't appear to be like a, a, a secret message anywhere. So, um... Let's see what we have next. Uh, God. I'm not gonna get freaked out. Mar M Marky Mow. Why didn't you come to read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Why do you like Mrs. Doubtfire more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Mrs. Doubtfire is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't need to hate me, Marky Mo. Oh, fucking hell! Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I have to feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it, please. Just stop t talking to Mrs. Doubtfire. Please play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Wow! <sighs> sure, why not? Things I like about Papa. I like it when Papa comes home early. I like it when Papa cooks me dinner. I like it when Papa gives me an allowance. I'm going to... I... This is going to get really bad. I like it when Papa spends time with me. I like it when Papa asks me about my friends. I like it when Papa asks me about anything. I like it when Papa gives me lunch money. I like it when Papa comes home before... I like it when Papa comes home before sundown. sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa doesn't come home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like it when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. <sighs> Thank you for that. Okay. Hello, sorry. What? My mouse. That is Sayori's face, I think. <sighs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's problems, right? Wait. Thank you for going away. Just in case something like that happens again, I'm going to keep my mouse in the corner. Because I've been keeping it off screen. <coughs> We have something we need to go over today. Everyone sit in the front of the classroom. This is about the fest- wait. Get myself a little more in the corner. There. Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything together, uh, good, good together in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That is a concern of mine as well. I don't really know what to do with last minute. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know how everyone's been. I know how, how everyone. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Marky Moo joined, and we started with some club activities. But this isn't a uh, time for us to become complacent. We still have only four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more. You know. That's what's so great about getting new members, anyway. We really ought to be more. We really ought to. We we already have enough to be considered official club. 
Why members will just mean everything gets more noisier and more difficult to manage. That's okay. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. But you want to share your passion with as many people as you can. To inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought in here in the first place. The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's... that's why... We should all work hard to put something together for the festival. Right, Marky Moo? Ugh! Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Marky Moo to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Okay. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Mrs. Doubtfire never even talked uh, until Marky Moo joined. As for me, I like it better when I here than I do at home. And Marky Moo isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that and that's everyone. Sorry, but you really but you really the only one who's interested in finding uh new members. So the rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you should really consider our opinions one for more for once. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. No, that's not true at all. I'm sure Mrs. Doubtfire and Marky Moo want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Mrs. Doubtfire, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed up as mu as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean we're not against getting new members or anything. Mikey Moo, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, I remember you weren't even going to you weren't even given a chance not to join. Monica sits Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of what's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? No, you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? <coughs> All right, I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna stop it here, and we're gonna continue this in, in the next episode. Thank you all, all you warlocks for watching. Let's see what more crazy, cr crazy fucked up shit we can get thrown at us next time. Bye bye, everybody.